case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 2004, the United States Court of Appeals for the Sixth Circuit heard a potentially groundbreaking case, Smith v. City of Salem. The case centered around a fundamental question. Is discrimination against a transgender person a direct violation of the laws prohibiting sex-based discrimination? Jimmy L. Smith, a transgender man employed by the city of Salem, ignited the shockwave. His employer had subjected him to disciplinary action, imposing a 24-hour suspension on grounds of violating an, in fact, ineffective regulation. Smith contended that this was not a legitimate disciplinary measure, but retaliation for his decision to secure legal aid. The accusations didn't stop there. Smith filed a lawsuit, alleging not only retaliation, but also sex discrimination under Title VII and a broach of privacy under state law. Despite its potential to reshape legal perceptions on transgender rights, the district court prematurely snuffed out the suit, dismissing all federal claims and siding with the city of Salem. Smith refused to back down and took his fight to the Court of Appeals. Setting a powerful precedent, the Court of Appeals ruled in favor of Smith. They opined that the discrimination he faced was indeed a form of sex stereotyping, which is expressly prohibited under Title VII. The court also validated Smith's claims of sex-based employment discrimination and violations of his constitutional rights under the 14th Amendment and 42 U.S.C. Section 1983. The decision overturned the dismissal of Smith's claim issued by the district court, sending the case back for further scrutiny. The Smith v. City of Salem case affirmed that discrimination against transsexual individuals due to their non-conforming behavior is tantamount to sex discrimination, a protection guaranteed to all citizens under the law. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSD.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.